Hey everyone, this is Mike. And this is Aaron. And we are from the SodaJerks.net. And today we are going to do another video review for you. This time it's, can you guess, the Bottle Top. It is, from Telebrands. From Telebrands. Um, you may see this commercial on television right now. Right, not this commercial, because this is not a commercial, this is a review. But you might see commercials uh, for the product. So, we are down low here uh, with our cans of Pepsi throwback. Right. Um, as you can see, one of them is a can of Pepsi throwback. And uh, on the right hand side, we have... Pepsi throwback, except it has a bottle top on. To hopefully keep in the carbonation. Hopefully. Um, we are putting this to a very drastic test. It has been 12 hours uh, since we popped that bottle top on over there. And we're going to pour the results into the glass of uh, bottle topped Pepsi and non bottle topped Pepsi. <sighs> Ready? Yeah, here we go. go. This is, let's do non first. Okay. Pop, now you can pop that open. Okay. Let's open. Here's your non. As you can see, there is a little fizz going on. All right. Um, we got the whole thing in there. I'd say maximum about half an there hour. There is some fizz. It's a surprising amount considering it's been 12 hours. 12, 12 hours. And now bottle top Pepsi. Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, let's let, one second. I want to examine something a little closer. I, you know what? On the walls, I agree. On the walls of the one the bottle top was poured into, yes, there is more carbonation clinging to it. <clears throat> that than is true. The other. That is true. And I would say it is a. You know what? Considerable amount more. One of us could drink it. I will take the plunge. Here we go. This is non. Um, this is non. Non bottle top Pepsi. It's a little flat. A little flat, he says. So good. Now, back Pepsi. this, yes, this is bottle topped Pepsi. There's a little more carbonation to it. There you go. So in our extreme test of 12 hour bottle top, it, the bottle top did okay. hold in more carbonation than just a can sitting in a refrigerator. Um, I guess we would still stick by our statement that the edge of the bottle top um, does hold in um, liquids better, and um, I guess we'll show them that. Let's. Uh, Let me take it off. Yeah, we'll do a demonstration on taking it off because that has seemed to be the most difficult thing. I'm going to grip the can. I'm going to grip the can. Kind of grip the ball. I like crush it a bit too. There we go. He's doing this because he is. Ah, there we go. There we go. He's the stronger one. This is not a. Um, this is not an easy task. No, they're really tough to get <laughs> off, and as you can see, I have ruined this can. Yes, but you are supposed to crush the can per the instructions. Okay. Um, we're gonna grab another can here so we can show you how it goes on, and so we can do the little drip testage. Yeah. If that's a word. So. Sure. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Via the magic of a wipe, uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We have our throwback Mountain Dew. We have a bottle top. Let's put it on. See how hard or easy this is to yes. do. Uh, holding both the can. It's on. A little bit of pressure. That you know is. what I should have done? Opened the can. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're Let's try this again. I'm going to open the can of Mountain Dew. This time. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I'd never had it before. You're like, I need to try I this I had to now. try the Mountain Dew. Put the uh, yes. bottle top on Which again. Which is, as we showed you, is easy. Hey, look at that. A little bit of pressure. Still easy. Now, it's supposed to keep everything from dripping. It's mm -hmm. supposed to keep... It's supposed to be able to tip over your bottle and it not drip. Right. So let's try upside down first. Yeah. Doing good. So far, so yeah, good. Now there's some there drip. There is drippage. All right. A little bit of drippage right there. That's unfortunate. Now we have found that the drippage is from the uh, portion around the top. Not, not the portion. Not, yeah, the not the, not the seam there that's touching the cam, but the actual top. I'm gonna try holding it sideways now. See if that drips more, faster or slower. Okay. So far, nothing. Yep. Yeah. 
It's a little bit. Yeah, it might be already out there. Yeah. No, I think now it's, it's coming out. Yeah. But it's slower. It is slower than dumping a can over, yes. But once again, once you go upside down. Yep. Considerable. So don't hold it upside down. Yeah. And it's not it's not impervious <laughs> to liquids, but right. it, it does the job. Um I wouldn't give this I'm not gonna grade this product. No. But I'm not I wouldn't give this product an A plus by any means. This seems to be the kind of thing where if you know you want it if you think it would work for you, it's probably gonna do enough of what you want. I mean, that's what dripped out when we were purposely holding it over. If we were holding it over and it was empty, it would have been gone a long time ago. That's true. So, and it does hold in freshness a tiny bit, as we showed you. After 12 hours, I'm sure it would have done better. Six for ten dollars, I'd say it's worth yeah. it. Yeah. Um, if you can find, I wish they had. I wish you could purchase the screw top version yes, of these. Yes, agreed. That, that would, would be a superior would product. Probably solve all the problems that we have with it. I agree. Yep. All right, there you go. For more soda reviews, look, check back again at the sodajerks.net. Have a nice day.